Hello again. Welcome back to Spiritual Essence. Now, um, I've decided that on uh, my Spiritual Essence channel that you guys are able to see the different types of enchantments that I perform on the various types of dolls that I have. Originally, we uh, performed an enchantment on my Raggedy Ann doll, who I called Annie. This time, it's going to be a different kind of doll. So, as you can see, um, it kind of looks like Russian, almost. Like a Russian kind of dress on her. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I got this at a thrift store. I really uh, like the way it looks, although um, some of her uh, mesh is actually coming loose some of her lace mesh so um that's kind of sucks but you know it doesn't matter to me um have i named her anything i've decided to name her vishka i don't know why i just think it fits i just think that yeah the name vishka fits and as you can see she's kind of got like these little stands on her feet so uh propping her carefully can actually get her to stand up on the altar now as you can see that we have pretty much everything that we had from last time um, when you perform enchantments technically fresh is better but uh, that can be pretty pricey and time-consuming so um, witches like us have developed ways to clear out the old energy and reset it in certain ways so that we don't have to constantly buy new crystals, buy new herbs, buy new candles, things like that. The only thing different that we have on here is this blue geode, which um, I've enchanted with a lot of protective energy. Very strong energy. So the first thing we are going to do before we even think about starting the enchantment We are going to light the candles. The candles will actually have no need to be reset. Those will be fine. And of course, the candle or th item that uh, puts us in a good mood during the enchantment so that we can fill it with the necessary energy. Now that that is settled, I'm going to light up the cedar. Kind of let it flame up just a little. And I'm going to immerse everything in the smoke. The crystals I'm going to immerse in the smoke. And just say, I hereby cleanse this crystal of old energies and I fill it with new positive energy. Now, I'm not going to reset the um, the geodes energy because I've actually spent a while um, putting energy into it in anticipation for this. So I'm going to leave that. Now, see, the candles are already set with the energy that we want to protect and repel uh, negative energy. So we protect our energy from the evils that may try to come in during the enchantment. So by keeping these both lit, and I've even uh, charged this uh, salted caramel scented candle with a little bit of protective energy just for backup. Uh, it's a three wick candle. So, And I also have the symbols. Of course, these are candle holders that symbolize a pentagram, so a protective symbol of witchcraft. So I am now setting everything in place. And I'll set her in the middle. I'm actually going to put the cross against her body. It's going to be tough to kind of prop it up. Let's see if I can. Um, I'm just going to set it underneath her veil. And then I'm going to take the onyx bracelet 
and carefully drape it over her head, thereby absorbing any negative energy that may be upon her. Then I'm going to place the crystals in a kind of pattern like so, where we got the selenite, we got the two quartz, and I'm going to place the geode right behind her carefully as to not knock her over. And of course we got the small quartz crystal. I'm going to move this cauldron over here. Basically we're surrounding the doll with these crystals to energize. Just as we placed Annie right on top of the crystals last time to directly absorb any energy that they were giving off. And that's the one reason, uh, one of the many actually, that uh, why we enchant and charge the crystal beforehand so that we know what energy it gives off. And we know that quartz takes any energy that it is given and multiplies it by a, like a thousand. It is an ultimate projector spiritually that's why a lot of people claim to have haunted houses under um rock quarries that uh have a lot of quartz in them because they are uh easily absorbing energy constantly from their surroundings and um Usually, it's not something that's actually paranormal. It's actually just something mere spiritual. And they project whatever energies were given off at a particular time period. It could be 100 years ago. It could be merely 50 years ago. And it will replay it back. So quartz crystals we can turn to our advantage because whatever energy we give them, they're going to keep playing until it takes another form of uh, energy and enchantment to reset them. And that is why we take something like either sage or cedar, which this is cedar, and we kind of just wave the smoke just around just to make sure, whoop, clumsy me, we just make sure that it is cleansed properly. All right, so the next step is going to be to turn off all the lights as to eliminate all distraction. Make sure that you have your cell phone turned off and also make sure that um, you will not be disturbed during this process by family members or by electronics at all. All right, guys, now you usually um, are gonna see me in night vision. Um, a lot of spells and rituals take place at night. Not all of them. However, uh, those who do take place at night are usually something that is more sacred uh, to each practitioner. Uh, so usually we perform them in the dark. It really depends on the ritual and what you're doing. Now, before I even start the enchantment, I'm going to do one final cleansing prayer. And I'm going to just anoint the four corners of the uh, altar table. I'm going to get it kind of lit over here. Let it burn a little. I cleanse the four corners of this altar with light and love and peaceful energy. May this cedar repel all negative energy that may try to disrupt us or attach itself to us. They are hereby banished in the name of the gods. So shall it be. I draw this pentagram upon this altar table as it may provide protection against all wickedness and evil. Okay, so now we have our protective prayer. You always want to make sure that you have a prayer set up, a protective spell, a prayer. It could even be both. 
um, just to make sure that you have yourself and the altar properly cleansed to make sure that you're not bringing any negative energy and therefore you're not attracting any negative energy when doing anything, any kind of spell or enchantment. Uh, this is not a cloak. <laughs> this is my fleece blanket. It's actually a little cold down here. It normally gets that way, especially during the winter time. Uh, in case you guys were wondering. Okay. So I'm going to get into another meditative state for a little bit. I'm going to imagine a white light as bright as the whitest light could possibly be and it's shining all around us and it's piercing through all shadow and negativity and it's banishing anything negative that might be hiding in the shadows and the darkness may white light shine down upon this altar and guide us through this enchantment Fishka, you are now to be filled with white light, love, and pure positive energy from this point on. I hereby grant you the enchantment power of sight, of peace, of knowing may you keep watch over this house and be able to neutralize any negative energies within this house whether they are brought from people or spirits I fill you with this energy the ability to bring peace upon a hectic household to bring peace upon someone's stressful day. To bring hope for someone who is not sure what the next day will bring them. I fill you with this energy and empower you, Vishka. I empower thee, Vishka. With the power of peace, compassion, hope, love, caring. These are the key words I will use in this energy to fill you with white holy light and love and happiness and peace. I hereby bring these energies I hereby bring these energies to this altar. May they go into this doll. May they go into Vishka and be with her for as long as the energy vibrates in synchronicities with this reality. I fill this doll with peace and light and love with the energies that I bestow upon this doll. May you bring peace and happiness to this household, even at the most stressful or dark days. So mote it be. that may try to make its way into this household will be stopped by this doll and its energies. It will prevent anything from going awry and from stress weakening our auras and preventing us from having a good day or a good life. I now blow these intentions into this doll
I blow into this doll the powers of peace and love. And upon the third blow, I now seal these energies within this doll, within this vessel. I now seal these energies within this doll in the name of all the gods that watch over me. As I will it, so shall it be, Vishka. I call to you, Vishka, and I thank you. Love the smell. The enchantment is done. I will now leave this doll on this altar. Um, I may leave the candles light on for a little while, but um, if you're planning on going to bed not too long after, uh, I would suggest, of course, you blow out the candle because it's a fire hazard. Just feel the need to say that. Um, but other than that, uh, you can leave this doll on the altar for as long as you feel it needs to. Um, as I said before, the the court should have plenty of energy to uh, fill it with, so it's not like it's going to lose out on anything in the night. All right, guys. Um, I know this was a quicker video than last time, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys the different sessions that I have uh, with enchanting my uh, dolls. And hopefully it inspires you to uh, try out your enchanting abilities and the different things that you can do with uh, enchanting. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please put it down in the comments section down below. Please share this video with as many people as you can. I'm trying to gain a really big audience so I can help more people if with any spiritual issues or problems they may be having. Um, and feel free to subscribe and hit that like button and also the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, guys. Me and Vishka are out. Thank you guys so much. May your spiritual path be one of pure white light love and happiness.